Well, welcome to the Meal Pro Cooking Channel. This is Chef Dan Catania, if you're just tuning in to us. So the second of the mother sauces I'm going to create is called a bechamel. So people say, bechamel? What's a bechamel? Well, you're going to know it after you see me prepare it. Because it's a sauce that everybody uses. You just don't know the classical term, the classical name of it. But it's called a bechamel which is a white cream sauce, okay? I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna start it by making my roux. What's a roux? Flour, butter. And this roux in particular is gonna be gluten-free roux. So a lot of chefs in the industry use that all-purpose flour and it's not gluten-free. I like using everything that I cook with gluten-free by using either almond flour, rice flour, into any of my thickening agents. So I'm gonna turn my flame on. And then I'm gonna add, because we're doing a small little batch, so I'm going to add a, maybe a good couple of four pieces of butter, and we're going to let that melt down, okay? So you're going to melt down that butter is what you're doing. So at this point, what you do is you just let it melt down until it kind of like a liquefies, and then we're going to add that flour in there, and you tighten it up, okay? So when you tighten it up, so you can see how it's, it's melting down right now, right? Okay, so we're just going to let that melt all the way down in the so little sauce pot, and then we're going to set that aside, okay? Uh, actually, we're just going to add that all in there. Won't hurt it. Because I'm going to put that on here after I bring my pot up when we add this, the milk to do the bechamel. So let's just talk about thickening agents, right? Okay, so as I mentioned, the flour and the butter combined together or fats of some sort create what we call a roux, R-O-U-X. So it's almost there with the butter. As you can see, it's melting down really good. So at this point, I'm going to turn my flame real low. Okay, and then I'm going to add my flour rice flour into my butter. Okay, let's add that right in there. Stir that up. Okay, so you can see how it's becoming the roux. So it's a liquid butter that's there. I like making my roux a little bit on the wetter, wet side instead of the real clumpy, real heavier, heavier uh, oatmeal side because I, I like it to, to smoothen out in the sauce a little bit better. But we're going to strain it. You know, would you strain a bechamel? Maybe in not some cases, but when I was at the Waldorf Astoria and I was working under Daniel Vigée and he was a master sommelier from France. He opened up the Maxime's in Paris. The guy was just phenomenal. I, he used to say, did you strain your bechamel? And I'd say, uh, no, chef, because we're going to add, you strain every sauce. Every sauce that you make, you strain it, strain it, strain it. I mean, he was just on top of me, man. So uh, out of habit, I strain all my sauces, whether it's a bechamel or whatever, velouté, it's always strained. Okay? So if you look at that consistency, that's how I like to make my roux. There's how that roux is going to be made. Right, so it's not pouring consistency, but it's enough to where you're gonna add it into it and it's gonna thicken your sauce. So we're just gonna leave that set right there. And at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my pot, sauce pot up on top, and I'm gonna turn my flame on, and then I'm gonna add my milk. Can you add half and half to a bechamel? Yes. Can you have heavy cream to a bechamel? Yes. But it's gonna kinda take it away from the basic sauce, grand sauce called bechamel made with milk. So when you add those other ingredients into it, you're making more fortified those sauces and it becomes another sauce, an alfredo. So you make the bechamel, you add heavy cream in it, your, your cheese in it, and anything else that you add into it, it becomes a different sauce than the mother sauce bechamel. So I'm gonna add my milk inside my pot. Okay, some chefs like to add a little bit of nutmeg, so I'm just going to add just a hint of nutmeg. Okay. Just, and then at that point I'm going to add also just a little hint of salt. Then a few little bay leaf. Voila. And then that's it. That's the bechamel. So at this point I'm just going to take my uh, whip and I'm just going to put that right into my my roux and just kind of dip it into my pan. Okay, let that thicken up. And get And another good thing about this too, you could take all your bechamel uh, as sauces and your espanol sauces and chill it down really well and put them in small little containers. And you can put them in small little containers and then freeze them. You know, they'll freeze well. 
Or what I like doing is, you will see some of my uh, series on cooking classes on sous vide. So I'll take these little small little sauces and I'll put them in small little, maybe half inch inch trays, right, about that yay long, and I'll freeze it. And then I'll cut them in half, vacuum seal them, put them in the freezer as bechamel, espanol sauce, tomato sauce. The only thing I never do is probably is the hollandaise sauce because of the fact that it's so temperamental. But the sauces, the other four, I put them in these little small little containers, freeze them, pull them out of the freezer, cut it in half, vacuum seal them, and they'll last for a year in your freezer, a year. Can you imagine that? So that's what I like doing with, uh, uh, you know, just making sure I cook ahead, right? All right, so I'm just gonna let that cook a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Off here with my roux. Now, like I said, the roux that I have here is a gluten-free roux, okay? So as you can see the, the uh, consistency of that bechamel, I make it a little bit on the heavier side because I'm gonna add with this bechamel some half and half, some whipped cream into it, maybe some white wine into it to call it a different sauce. But you know, that's basically what the bechamel is. It's a white cream sauce, right? And as I mentioned, what you need to do after that is you need to taste it. Delicioso. And then I'm just gonna pour it into my strainer. And I'm just going to strain it out. Okay, and then, like I said, you, the, the bechamel itself, I use it, put it a little bit on the thicker side because I thin it down with a lot of uh, uh, whipped cream, half and half. You could add sour cream in your bechamel. You could add all those different liquids into it to thin it back out, right? But anyway, basically that's what your bechamel is. The mother, second mother sauce from the series that we're gonna be doing on grand sauces. So if you like this video, click the like button and just click the subscribe button as well too. Go to mealpro.com, see some of the wonderful items that you could order online to just send them right to your house or right to your business, it's wonderful. So thank you very much for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Arrivederci.